Based on the blockbuster movie of 1993, Jurassic Park is one of Data East's most popular pins and packs a strategic twist, a smart missile feature that collects lit playfield items. For this discussion, we're playing ROM version 5.01. While Jurassic Park packs in a bunch of scoring features, the best scoring strategy is to start Tri-Ball, collect a Tri-Ball jackpot to start Chaos, complete Chaos to start Six Ball Play, collect a T-Rex jackpot, then collect high scoring super jackpots. To light Tri-Ball, hit all species targets located about the playfield, or spot them with a lit boat dock shot. A Mr. DNA award may light it, or if never lit, Ball 3 automatically lights it. Once lit, feed T-Rex or shoot the Raptor Pit a few times to start Tri-Ball. Don't use a smart missile yet because you get only one missile and you want to save it for chaos. During Tri-Ball, shoot the ramp for a 15 million base jackpot and the inner loop for a base jackpot plus 15 million. The base jackpot value increases by hitting playfield targets. Since the goal is to start chaos as soon as possible, shoot the easier ramp shot. Shoot the chaos letters at the left scoop, bumpers, control room scoop, ramp, and power shed scoop. Each letter scores 5 million. Notice the H is automatically shot during the ball launch into the bumpers. Try shooting the harder power shed scoop and ramp shots before balls launch. Using a smart missile is a good strategy here, especially if down to one ball, as chaos ends when ball two registers in the trough. If you see ball two draining, fire away. Spelling chaos starts six ball play, and chaos letters must be shot again, each worth 10 million. After spilling chaos, T-Rex must be fed. Applying dual action flipper skills learned from Pinball 101, trap at least one ball on each flipper, keep the upper flipper down and shoot the boat dock. Then flip the ball into T-Rex for 50 million. Now the two super jackpot shots are worth 100 million per ball in play with a 15 million bonus for the loop shot. Collecting both super jackpots restarts the chaos sequence and continues while at least two balls are left. Not an easy feat. Our minimum scoring tally thus far is 15 million tri-ball jackpot, 25 million chaos, 50 million chaos again, 50 million T-Rex. Then add 200 million for a super jackpot for 340 million total. The other scoring strategy completes all 11 control room screens to start System Failure, a timed six ball play mode. To collect a control room screen, first light the control room by shooting the power shed scoop or temporarily lighting it by either inlane. Note the left inlane also lights the boat dock. Shoot the lit control room scoop to collect a flashing control room screen and start the scoring feature. The bumpers select the next screen when the control room isn't lit. Concurrent control room screens may be activated, displaying the latest feature started. Shooting an unlit control room annoys you with a ton. The 11 control room screen modes vary in difficulty and reward, with Escape Isla Nublar being easier and more rewarding than Bone Busting or Mosquito Millions. most valuable screen shoot the bumpers, the boat duck, and the loop to score a value starting at 21 million, counting down 1 million every second. Each shot scores the value and adds 10 million to it. This mode stops after counting down 10 million. Expect scoring around 80 million. Bitters. Shoot any of the left three dinosaur targets three times in 20 seconds for 30 million. Catching the ball followed by post pass helps.
Gross but fun. Shoot T-Rex within 30 seconds for 30 million. From the right flipper, a left loop to the upper right flipper works great and is a shot you need to practice for tri-ball. In 15 seconds, shoot the three scoops for 5 million, 10 million, then 15 million for a total of 30 million. Shooting the power shed scoop is always tricky, but does give a nice feed to the lower scoops. Get used to this screen as it's always the first screen awarded. For 20 seconds, each target scores 300,000 and increases by 10,000 for each hit, and 5 million awarded for T-Rex. Expect scoring around 20 million for this screen. Shoot the boat dock for extra ball, or 25 million when extra ball disabled. Hit 20 slingshots or pop bumpers in 20 seconds for 30 million to save little Timmy from electrocution. As slings and bumpers tend to be wild shots, it's best to shoot elsewhere. Sorry, Timmy. Velociraptor two ball. Shooting the boat dock starts two ball play with a short relaunch period. Shoot the raptor pit for 7 million, increasing by 2 million for each hit. This mode does not start during Tri-Ball, Chaos, or Super Egg Mania, and unfortunately aborts all screens running. Expect a few low-scoring millions for this mode. Raptor Rampage. Within 20 seconds, shoot the Raptor Pit for indicated award between 5 and 10 million. Watch out for that kickback, as the ball saver may be disabled. Shoot three ramps in 25 seconds for 20 million. The difficult ramp shot is tougher to make repeatedly, making this a low scoring mode. Within 20 seconds, shoot the captive ball for 5 million, increasing by 1 million for each shot. Not a very good scoring mode. After completing all screens, shoot the control room or power shed scoop to start system failure. You have 45 seconds to hit targets for 1 million each with a 6 ball frenzy. Relaunched balls guarantee a clog near the bumpers. Expect to score over 100 million and around 250 million for completing all screens for a total of 350 million for completing this mode. After completing system failure, only the power shed scoop lights the control room for the next screen, making your second round a bit more difficult. Other scoring features add to the fun, but won't boost your score much, especially with tournament settings. Hitting the captive ball repeatedly eventually cracks an egg for 5 million up to 20 million. Cracking the fourth egg starts Super Egg Mania for time two ball play. Shoot the ramp three times or twice in a row, then the left bunker scoop for Mr. DNA, awarding one of three random choices selected with a flipper or trigger. There's over a dozen choices available. In tournament game settings, Mr. DNA is initially restricted to less valuable awards with better choices upon subsequent Mr. DNA shots. Starting at 500,000 and increased by 30,000 every turbo bumper hit, shooting into the left scoop when lit by the right in-lane awards park revenue. This low scoring award is often collected by accident. Shooting the Raptor Pit awards 2 million plus a small accumulated bonus. Every hit adds 350,000 to the pit value. A quick re-hit with a flashing danger light awards double value. Normally the danger light indicates ball saver active, but is frequently disabled in tournament play, making this a risky shot. This video mode starts randomly during play. Grab the gun and shoot the dinosaur for 3 million and activating super pops. While entertaining, never sacrifice flipper control to fire off a few rounds. 
Shoot the dinosaur at the start of each ball for 2 million, up to 4 million while lighting super pops and launching the ball. Upper right. Shooting the T-Rex saucer lights a T-Rex letter on the left apron. Spell T-Rex to collect a bounty of seven and a half million. This score increases for subsequent bounties, even across players. However, tournament game settings typically reset this bounty after every award in ball, making this a less lucrative shot. Right in lane temporarily lights the visitor center bonus multiplier shot up to nine times. As bonus is capped at a paltry 2 million, this shot is worth up to 18 million max, fairly low as most bonus scores go. Shooting consecutive ramp shots awards bonus holdover. Put the ball back into play after rolling through an outlane awards a 3 million death save, a tilt risk but possibly awarding more than your bonus.